Hello, and welcome to English Micro Listening Lessons, where you can improve your listening skills by learning how sounds change or disappear in spoken English. This series of videos can be watched in any order and can be used for self-study by independent English language learners or in a classroom by English language teachers. There's information in the box below the video for teachers. Spoken English can be difficult to understand due to something called connected speech, which is the continuous stream of sounds without clear borders between a sequence of words. There, that's better. Some features of connected speech that can make sounds change or disappear at word boundaries and affect your ability to hear words you know are coalescence, elision, reduction, assimilation, resyllabification, linking, and intrusion. Don't worry. I'll explain what each of these means in this series. Awareness of them will improve your ability to hear individual words in the stream of spoken English. Ready? Here we go. This is a YouTuber named Julia introducing herself on another YouTuber's channel. What sound changes when she says pen pal? Pen pals are people who write regularly to each other, traditionally by hand with Postal mail. My name is Julia and I'm Alyssa's pen pal. Hi, my name is Julia and I'm Alyssa's pen pal. If you're watching with someone else or with your teacher and classmates, pause the video and compare your answers. So the letter N with the N sound changed to a, an M sound. So instead of pen pal, she says pem pal. Listen again. Her lips come together to make the M sound. So why does this happen? It's due to a feature of connected speech called assimilation, which is when a sound at the end of one word changes to make pronunciation easier. It usually changes to sound a little more like the following word. So here, when we have um, the N in pen sound more like an M sound, pem, pal, sometimes an N sound at the end of a word changes to an M sound when the following word starts with a p, b, or m sound. This is because the n sound from the letter n usually uh, is nasal. You kind of make it up with your nose and you make it with your lips open a little bit like this little girl on the left. But the sounds p, b, and m are all made with your lips pressed together, like this man down here on the right. So to transition from an, your lips kind of open to close, you kind of pass through an M sound because M is nasal, like the N. They both are made with your nose a little, N and M. So it's a little bit of a natural transition for the mouth and it's just easier for the mouth to just go straight to the M sound. Now, please note, I say sometimes because this depends on the speaker and how fast and informally they are talking. Here are a few more examples. So instead of hen party, you might hear hem party, which is a British term for the celebration for a woman about to be married, and it's usually only attended by women. The U.S. term for this type of party is a bachelorette party. Number two, instead of wine bar, you might hear wine bar, wine bar. And number three, instead of it's on me, you might hear it's on me, it's on me. 
just two M sounds. And this is a phrase that a person says to offer to pay for another person's meal or drink if they're eating or drinking together somewhere. A couple of notes. This can also happen with words that end with ND. For example, like the word end. Um, so here in this photo, I apologize to any animal lovers. It was the best way I could think of to illustrate this phrase. But it looks like this situation will end badly for this mouse. Um, and so here, um, there's another video about uh, the elision of D, the elision of the D sound. But when D comes between two consonants, like the N and the B here, it'll just disappear. So you're left with N badly. And so because the N is followed by a B sound, it will end up sounding like an M. So you'll end up hearing M badly, to M badly. I'd also like to note that this can also happen inside just one word. Um, so here we've got a woman who is sunbathing. To sunbathe means to sit or lie in the sun, especially to tan your skin. So instead of sun bathe, it'll sound like some bathe, some bathe. But since we're looking at connected speech, which is um, what happens when you have more than one word occurring together, uh, we're not going to look at this inside words. We're only going to look at it when it happens at the border of words. So now I'd like to help you hear assimilation of the n to the m sound. So listen to this short story and count how many times you hear n change to m. I'll read it three times, fast, then slower, then fast. Here we go. 10 people rode nine bikes to a green park. They brought bread, chicken breasts, green beans, apples, and wine bottles in a brown paper bag. While they watched a band play, a brown bear ate all of their food. So if you're watching with others, go ahead and pause the video and compare how many times you heard the n change to an m. So now I'll read the short story again, uh, slower this time. Here we go. Ten people rode nine bikes to a green park. They brought bread, chicken breasts, green beans, apples, and wine bottles in a brown paper bag. While they watched a bam play, a brown bear ate all of their food. So if you need to pause the video and compare again how many you heard. And last time, I'm going to read it just at a fast, natural pace again. Here we go. Ten people rode nine bikes to a green park. They brought bread, chicken breasts, green beans, apples, and a wine bottles in a brown paper bag. While they watched a band play, a brown bear ate all of their food. Okay, so if you need to, pause once again and do your final comparison. If you need to, go back and replay parts. So here is the answer. It happened nine times. Pause the video if you need to while you check your answers. So sometimes, in order to hear other people use a feature of connected speech, it can help if you pronounce it yourself. So please listen and repeat after me as I read these nine phrases. Here we go. Oh, try to pronounce the, the N as an M sound. So try to make the M sound, or at least notice if your mouth does it naturally. Okay, number one, 10 people. 10 people. Number two. Nine bikes. Nine bikes. 
Number three, Green Park. Green Park. Number four, Chicken Breasts. Chicken Breasts. Number five, Green Beans. Green Beans. Number six, Wine Bottles. Wine bottles. Number seven, brown paper. Brown paper. Number eight, bam play. Bam play. Number nine, brown bear. Brown bear. So to review, Sometimes an m sound changes to an m sound at the end of a word when the following word starts with a p, b, or m sound. So one final example is instead of one pair of pants, you might hear one pair of pants, one pair of pants. Now it's your turn. Think of another example of an N sound at the end of a word changing to an M sound and write it in the comments or pause the video and share it with your teacher and classmates. And now for the real world challenge. Find an example of an N sound at the end of a word changing to an M sound in a recorded or real life conversation and post it in the comments or share it with your teacher and classmates. Thank you for watching this English micro listening lesson. I hope it has helped you to better hear how sounds change or disappear in spoken English. Bye.